thank you for joining me on this introductory tour around the all new CRV. Now, this is our premium versatile SUV and it looks amazing with its uh, bold and sporty looks. Now, it is available in two versions, a full hybrid and also a plug-in hybrid, which is what this model is here. So we'll take you through some of those details that are specific to the plug-in hybrid as well while we make our way around. Now, right from the, the, the front, the closest thing to me are the LED lights. Now, as you'd expect, they're going to give good visibility, they're, they're efficient with energy, and on this particular grade, they also have something called adaptive driving beam. Now, you might wonder what adaptive driving beam is, and it's a really great feature that means you can be driving with your full beam on, so you've got maximum visibility, and the car, through its intelligent camera system, can identify there's a car in front of you and actually not illuminate the lights within here that would dazzle that car in front of you but you've still got both sides of the road fully illuminated and that's all automatic for you as well so moving in we've got a nice bold grille inside there which is really really good looking and we have our honda badge with the blue insert just inside denoting that both versions of this are of course hybrid Underneath, there is a front-mounted camera. This is because uh, CRV has a multi-view camera. So we have lenses just underneath the door mirrors and also one at the back. So when it's a case of parking, you've got really good visibility around you. And some grades even come with Honda's parking pilot. So at the push of a couple of buttons, the car can actually park itself for you. Great, great feature. So we have got the camera down here, but we have got the multi-purpose camera at the top as well. And that works in conjunction with the sensors at the front to allow our sensing to make sure that your driving is really comfortable and safe on the road. Between them, they can look at close objects or distant objects. They could be cars, lorries, vans, even pedestrians. And they can look for painted lines on the road as well. And what this will do is help to keep you centered if you'd like it to, so that when you're using your adaptive cruise control, it can keep you the distance you want to be from that vehicle in front. And when they slow down, you also slow down. And those other little things as well that are really, really useful to have, like I'm sure we've all done this, you're driving down a road, trying to remember, is it a 30 or a 40 mile an hour road? The camera's seen it and it's put a little notification on the dashboard, just as a little reminder. So now we're at the centre, it's probably worthwhile talking about the, uh, the, the plug-in and the full hybrid versions. They both have the same power output, but of course with the plug-in, it means you do have a large range of EV-only driving. And we expect over 50 miles of pure EV driving on this car, which is amazing. And it's really easy. I'll show you in a moment where you would charge it up, but it's really easy to charge up anytime you're not using it to maximize the efficiency on those shorter journeys. And the great news is, unlike many competitors, is that when that high voltage battery is depleted, you are still driving a car with a Honda two motor hybrid system under the bonnet which means efficiency and emissions are going to be absolutely fantastic. As we move around, we get a first glimpse at the 18 inch wheels. So this is a perfect balance between style, performance and also emissions. So 18 inch on all of the CRVs. Moving back, we have our charge lid. So of course, this is only on the plug-in version. You just charge that up there, and from a totally flat battery, that'll be fully charged in just two and a half hours. There's even a little light in there so you can find it at nighttime, and an indicator to show you when it's charging. You can actually keep an eye on that on your My Honda Plus app as well, just to see what level the, the charge is at. So on a full hybrid system, these would be black. As you can see, they're body colored on the plug-in variant. We'd have standard suspension. This one benefits from adaptive dampers. Of course, there's the charging lid and the plug-in, and the plug-in also benefits from Honda's parking pilot. Now moving back a little bit further, we've got the, the wipers, which have the smart wash system on there. What that means is that the washer jets are actually on the wiper arm, rather than being underneath the bonnet or on top. That means the amount of time where there's water on the screen when you're cleaning it is greatly reduced. So your visibility is going to be much better and you use 40% less water as well. As you can see, we have the opening panoramic roof on the, uh, the CRV, which adds to that premium feel of the car. So let's take a look inside. 
So first things, the door opens really, really wide. So access is really great getting in and out of the car. I can see the seats are leather in this one, but that's on all grades. And you've got two memory positions and it's electrically adjustable as well. So we'll take a look at the interior a little bit later on, but it looks absolutely fantastic in there. See what the back's like. What an amazing place this is to actually spend your time being a passenger. So not only will the seat base go backwards and forwards to, so it can give you more legroom or more boot space, whichever you prefer, you've got a massive amount of recline on the backrest. And of course, as you'd expect, you've got USB charging, you've got your ventilation and heated seats. Certainly a place to be chauffeured around. Let's take a look at the back. So now we're at the back of the CRV. First thing that's going to strike you are these really bold lights, keeping you nice and safe on the road and distinguished on the road for this premium vehicle. Of course, you've got privacy glass, you've got the, uh, the little aero lip on the spoiler at the top there to help the air leave the vehicle as efficiently as possible. And it's a nice styling touch too. Um, in the center of the illumination, we've got our rear view camera. So this helps you reverse parking, but it also fills in the gaps for our multi-purpose camera that this car benefits from. And then in between the two exhaust finishers, you could actually have a tow bar fitted. Now, because this is the, the plug-in version, two things to point out to you here. This bumper section here is actually painted, would be gray on the standard hybrid, and this can tow up to 1500 kilos as well. But I'm sure you want to know how big the boot is, so let's show you. Now I could have used the remote if I'd got that in my pocket, I could have opened up for me, but just pushing that button, not a problem at all. Then we can see this cavernous boot. Let me fold the, uh, the tonneau cover out of the way and you can really get a gauge of how big this is. Really tall, very, very wide. And if you need it even more height, you can just drop down the force floor there to give you a little bit extra. But you may prefer it in that flat level for easy loading of, of boxes and, uh, and stuff like that. Now, a little detail, very nice though, on both sides, we've got a little hook so you can hang your carrier bags off that. So you've just done a little bit of shopping, your, your boot's not absolutely full. The fruit and veg isn't gonna fall out of the carrier bags because it's nicely stowed on there. Now, a great little feature with CRV is that if you don't want your tailgate to actually open that high, pull it to the height you want it to open to next time, press and hold the set button, and then next time it opens, it'll go to this point. And while we're looking at this section here, you've got two ways to close it. We've got the walk away close, the button on the right. So if I had the key in my pocket, I'd press the button, walk away, and it would close when I'm out of the detection zone. Or the tra traditional way, so we push the button and it'll close straight away for me. Perfect, let's go and look inside. Okay, so, uh, now we're inside, very, very comfortable. It does feel very, very premium indeed. I've got electrically adjustable seats. They've got two memory positions as well. So I've got mine and then a secondary driver, although I think uh, I'll keep it for mostly me driving this. And uh, right up front, a very, very clear TFT display. So on the left-hand side, I've got my power meter. And on the right-hand side, I've got like an analog uh, speedo, but in the center, I've got a digital display for my speed as well. And um, well, actually this one has the, uh, the head-up display projected straight in front of me, which is a real nice touch. And so on the right, I've got my petrol gauge and on the left, because this is the plug-in hybrid version, I've got my, my battery gauge as well. Um, lovely, I've got my volume controls on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, uh, my ADAS, so adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, those functions on the right. And these little rollers, these actually control what's in the center of those two dials in front of me. So on the left, we've got choosing whether I want USB, Bluetooth, or um, FM DAB as my input. And on the right hand side, I can see where the power's coming from, whether it's the battery, the petrol engine, or a combination. And then I've got things like my, my fuel economy, my distance, uh, navigation, speed alarms, all that stuff. So they're separated left to right to make it really nice and easy to, uh, to focus on the information that you want. As we move across, really nice and in my eye line, I've got my infotainment screen. 
So like many Hondas, I've got my all apps button on here so I can scroll through the particular icons I want on that page. So if I press home, I can see I've got navigation, I've got my smartphone replication, so wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and a wireless charging pad as well. And because this is the plugin, I've got a, a PHEV menu as well. So I can schedule it to only charge at the times I want to, even when it's plugged in. So if you've got a, a cheaper tariff between say midnight and four in the morning, you can make sure that your car is charging at the cheapest time for you. Equally, you can get the climate inside the car to be at the temperature you want it to before you even get in. So there's a few different settings that you can personalize there, which is really, really nice. And in this screen is where we'd get our lane watch image. So lane watch is um, something to help prevent blind spots. So if I was in a right hand drive car, it would be showing me what would be on the left hand side of the car. So coming back into the near side lane. And that would happen when you indicate, in our case for a right hand drive car, to the left. Or you can just push the button on the end of this stalk and that would show you right up here what's in your potential blind spot. But of course, you've got lane watch, it's not a blind spot anymore. Then we move down and we have this lovely fascia in front of the vents. So whatever position the vents are actually in, it looks uniform across there, a real nice touch. And heating controls. So a nice mixture of uh, really good display on there, nice and clear with physical uh, dials and buttons underneath so you get that positive feedback. And because this has heated seats and also cooled seats, we've got two buttons for the driver and two buttons for the passenger there so they can get their correct temperature. As we move further back, we've got our drive selector, so whether it's park, reverse, neutral, whatever you want there, parking brake, we've got parking pilot, so push of a couple of buttons, it can actually park itself for you. Then you've got your drive mode, so if you want more sort of economy oriented, you select econ, a bit more sporty, select sport. Then on the E button, just below here, this is where you can have an auto, EV or you can save that battery for a particular place where you want to be driving on EV only. Illuminated cup holders here, really nice touch and I've got quite a nice sort of storage area there and behind there the rear seat passengers not only have they got their own USB-C connectors, their own ventilation, sliding seats so they can maximize the leg room that's right for them, they have got masses of space there. So plenty of headroom and it's going to feel even bigger because of the amazing panoramic roof that's on all three grades. Well thank you for joining me on that tour around the all new CRV. I hope you love this car as much as I do and of course if you'd like to know more information about it please contact your local retailer who will be delighted to give you even more information.